So the IPCC is a joint activity between the United Nations Environment Programme and the World Climate Research Programme. It was actually came about in the late 1980s in response to uh, concerns around climate change and the effects of rising carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The fifth assessment report will be released in the 27th of September. Immediately after our final plenary session. The purpose of the plenary session is actually to respond to the reviews from governments for the most important document that comes out of our assessment reports. This is the summary for policy makers. If you're going to have a credible report, you need to be both transparent and uh, have a very clear processes especially because these are reports for the government on behalf of the governments of the world. You have to understand the scale of the problem uh, of climate change science. We've got in the current report something like 10,000 scientific publications. No one can really understand this amount of literature in a uh, collective way and, and therefore politicians and decision makers cannot understand the science itself. So to make a credible report, what you really need is uh, a gathering of the world's experts to understand that literature and to assess, not review the science, to assess the science around climate change. The review and the assessment process only takes what has been published in the peer-reviewed literature with just a very few exceptions. We're very careful in the construction of the reports to have a very um, calibrated form of language around our assessments of climate change. Throughout the Working Group 1 report we use both uh, this likelihood language and this confidence language as a way of calibrating all of our statements around the, both the observations, the attribution of human influence and the future of uh, future projections of climate change. When we say very likely, we mean 90% certain. When we say extremely likely, we mean 95% certain. If we think it's extremely unlikely, we mean there's less than a 5% chance of that occurring. IPCC is a, is a remarkable experience. Um, what is remarkable about IPCC is it's a gathering of experts and those experts come together to talk about their science and they are very enthusiastic. It's a rich, enriching experience because we've been mobilised, so to speak, to come together and assess our understanding of the science. Because we have these uh, discussions across the disciplines, it leads to a lot of uh, fruitful collaborations, it leads to new scientific problems being analysed. So it becomes an incredibly productive working relationships between groups of disciplines that we would not normally actually deal with. But it comes at a cost. It's a lot of work. In the course of uh, this uh, three-year project to make the fifth assessment report, I wrote and received 10,000 emails. This is an enormous burden on something like a, just under 200 scientists who are really just giving their time free to the United Nations and the World Climate Project to actually develop the Working Group 1 and other reports. So there's an enormous in-kind contribution that is unfunded by the United Nations and IPCC that is given for free by scientists to deliver this document to governments and decision makers.